Um, hey guys, we're new tonight here. Um, still, what day? Saturday? I'm not really sure. I'm guessing. Um, it's the same day I got my cubes. Yes, it is Saturday. So, yep, I've lubed it. Kept the tensions the same because I, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna bother with that. Cube review. I'm not gonna intros, not gonna outros, but you have videos barely. Nope, nope, nope. That's my outline. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in my sister's room for another computer because after this I'm going to be doing a AO something, I don't know what yet. And also because I'm um, going to be I have an outline of what you say. Anyways, let's get into the video. I don't have an intro. Okay, moving on. Okay, so, in case you didn't read the description of this video, and in case you can't tell, I'm still very awkward in front of the camera. But as you can see, I can see myself. You know, like nerves. Anyways, this is the Moe Way Long V2 Mini. Or I really don't think I need to say V2 considering there's only a Mini V2. But yeah, this is the Mini. I believe it's 54.5 centimeters. As a matter of fact, I'm like 100% sure. But I'm gonna double check anyways. Just to be 100%. But yeah, and yeah, 54.5. And I personally bought this from the website that I basically my the website I normally buy stuff from which is the same one I'm giving away my cube from or in my giveaway the speed cube shop it's only thirteen ninety five on speed cube shop um it's in black as you can see and first off I'm gonna go over some of the out of the box stuff even though I know I don't I it's not out of the box it's lubed not tension but lubed um, and yeah, so it's actually 5 cents cheaper than Cubicle. Just checking. Uh, anyways, I just want to check if it was or not. Um, it's 54.5 millimeters, 13.95 on Speed Cube Shop. Um, now, this cube in general is my main at the moment. Even before Lubin was my main, because my other one was YJU Long. But, out of the box, it had, it was, um, very, very fast. I, I think I have a vid- no, I don't have a video, I never uploaded that. But, it was very, very fast, and... Um, uh, if I do my fingers slowly enough, I can probably emulate its- its, um... This was probably about its out of box speed, I can't- It's- it's lubed, I can't do that. But, and out of the box had a very sandy feel to it. Um, especially as time went on, and the, um, stock loop or whatever started building up, and it got a bit slower. But, now, um, lubed up and everything, this is using Lubix regular, um, lube. As you can see, it's quite fast. Um, yeah, as you can see. So the speed's amazing, I swear. And now with the loop, it just it doesn't really feel sandy, it just feels very smooth, is the best way I can say it. It doesn't really I don't really feel like it's turning against anything. It's just kind of turning. Um The cube had out of the box it had what was it? I think forty five or uh, half a cubic um corner curtain, then reverse was about a fourth. And now, if I corner cut here for you guys, that's a fourth of QB, that's, what is it, three fourths? Can it do lights like line? If you can see here, if I just, it's just about, see like this is line to line, it's like, just nearly line to line. So what is that then? Let me see. Yeah, so basically about a little over three fourths, almost line to line. Then reverse, if I, I believe it's, here's a half. Okay. Here's at three fourths. Nope. But three fourths kind of worked out. So what, like three fourths? So, nearly three-fourths, corner cut in reverse. Um, ooh, actually, I think I just got to three-fourths. 
Nope. Do I? Yeah, there. So three foils with a bit of foils. Well, a little under. It's kind of difficult. It's basically a half. A QB. Um, and the cube is very... Well, that's after Luby, which is kind of the reason I did it, because the corner cutting was slowing me down a bit. But the cube is very good, especially considering I have smaller hands. And I already do all eights, but I do it a little bit. And by that, I mean I know one PL out, which is the, what is this, Z-perm, I think? No, it's not the Z-perm. It's this one, if I show it, where you swap edges across. And as you say... It's a, it's definitely a lot better now that I've, um, lubed it. So, it, I can easily see this being an OH main. Um. The middle layers turned quite quickly as well, and, as you can see, um, my, my finger's actually catching a little bit here because, um, I'm still not really, I've only been keeping for a couple months, so I'm not really used to finger tricks and everything. But, if I, but like when executing that perm, if anything, the only thing I went into is, besides my arm cramping up, by own fingers hitting this, because um, I'm not used to finger tricks and how to hold it and everything. But, the turning on the middle layer is amazing, it doesn't even lock up on the middle layer. This cube rarely locks up, it only locks up either, um, when I'm solving it and my well, finger gets stuck and it kind of pushes more than, it like tries to push the other layer and it clips off. But that's more of a personal problem. And when I do stuff like a little bit too much corner cutting. Oh wow, it actually clicks on three fourths. Oh, so it clicks on three fourths, it just takes a bit of effort. But like when it goes like that, it'll lock up. Still clicking though with effort. Um, can I do like line with effort? No, I can't climb it, climb it but when it's like just a little to bit too much on the corner, kind of your lock up. But besides that, it doesn't really catch. It's completely fine. So, mainly, just personal problems for the most part, as usual. Um, also, the cube comes with, if I pull off a piece here. Oops. Torpedoes on the edges. So, poppy, so pops are... Right. And pops on this cube are basically impossible. I've never gotten a pop. Um, have I? No. I've never gotten a single pop on this cube, even after living it. But after living it, I've only done like 50 solves. I, well, now I've probably done more than 100 today. Well, and then the um, corner pieces are kind of like this. Like if I show you a row of three, you can see how the pieces kind of... The pieces have a track as to stick under the center and then the torpedo locks it with the centers and get close to the camera as you can see um but yeah I have never really had a pop on this cube and corner twisting is super rare it happened quite a bit when they came out of the box but after I broke in it's like it doesn't happen the only time it'll happen is if um when I'm corner cutting like when I'm do practicing my corner cutting I put my finger here then it'll twist but normally when um, I cube, I don't, you know, I normally don't corner cut like this and push down on it that much. There's many when I test, when I, um, test the corner cutting. If I just happen to my hand back here, it can twist. But I can easily see somebody whose turning style is um, like this with the whole hand twisting. But if you know finger tricks like me, so I just kind of go like that and I don't touch this back corner. Then you shouldn't have any problems with corner twisting. Um... So that's a quick review to basically give you a rundown and score it, I guess. Um, price for $13.95, considering um, the quality, I'd say it's quite nice. Considering the other one I got was a YJ, and that was somewhere around, I think, 10 bucks. And this is a huge improvement, even without lube. Um, so on price, I'll probably give it like a 9 out of 10. Probably wipe this down so I can average this out. Only reason 9 out of 10 is mainly just because I'm poor. So, cloud adjustment, judgment, nice. Um, in terms of size, considering I have smaller hands, um, 
I really like the size, you know, being smaller. I understand why people with bigger hands wouldn't quite like it. Um, and I don't really have a single complaint about the size. If anything, um, yeah, it's like perfect for my hands. So on size, I give it a straight 10 out of 10, and I'll probably have it on the screen somewhere. Magic of editing. Um, for turning, the speed out of the box was very good, probably about an 8 out of 10. With lube, um, it's still very fast, but because um, I'm not used to the lube cube, it's a slight bit uncontrollable, but it's still um, very perfect for me. Um, as perfect, well, very perfect. Not near, not perfect, but almost. And especially, I love the feel. I like the sandy feel. And then, now it's not sandy, but it's just so smooth, I can't get enough of it. Um, if you guys know any other cubes with these types of feels... Yeah, I just had to let this thing in a minute. Um, if you know any other cubes with, that feel similar to this, um, leave, leave them in the comments down below. I'm looking for some new cubes just to have. And maybe eventually to use, but so turning, I will give it a 9 out of 10. Not 100 10. 10. Um, in terms of catching, as I said, I the only time I catch are those instances I mentioned, and those almost never happen in solves. That's normally just when I'm like, you know, messing with it, sets the corner cutting, and it happens. It almost never happens in solves. And by almost, I mean, I don't think it's, I think it's called like once or twice, so I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Um, in terms of pops, don't ha they don't happen, 10 out of 10, that's kind of obvious, it's like, it'll never pop, but this hasn't for me ever, that was the thing. In terms of corner twisting, that happens a bit more frequently, um, as I say it, it mainly happens when I'm do when I was doing four hand, when I was like doing four hand turns, but now that I, with finger tricks, it doesn't happen, so... 10 out of 10. Um, corner cutting without the lube, it was probably more like around a 7 out of 10. With the lube, while well, it's not perfect, um, it's definitely somewhere around an 8 out of 10. Um, so, to average out the final score, if I just use my mathy stuff here, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 49. 58, 64 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 64 divided by 7 is, I am too lazy to do this math, with my calculator? Anyways, I'll average out the score, but this is specifically for um, people who are around my speed, which is I'm about a low 30s, high 20s solver. So basically around intermediate. If you're a low 30, high 20 solver, then, okay then this is probably a good cube for you and its final score is about 9.14 continue numbers forever so a 9 out of 10 um, so for t for 30 to 20 solvers probably about a 9 out of 10 I could see this being a good cube up until like probably until you gain sub 20 until you're like sub 17 um, but it's a very good cube for 08 I can especially see this being nice but, as I previously stated, I have small hands. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Also, this is also very good, especially if you have small hands, or it's good. So if you're a small hand, 30, high 30s, low 20s solver, 9 out of 10. If you have bigger hands, you might prefer the regular way long, though I hear, I haven't tried it yet, it's not as fast as this. And, um, um, yeah. And if you're a little bit faster, you might not like this. Even if you're a little bit slower, you might like it just not lubed. Because I've, I've had this since I was like a 50 solver. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, another thing about the cube, I was going to say. Can I remember it? I don't think I can. So, I was going to say something. It's like nagging at me. Oh yeah, OH. Um, if you have small hands... The, um, for 08, it, it may not feel that nice because, as I said, I have small hands, so they clip. As well, if you are regular hands, it's probably be perfect for 08. Um, but as far as I know, um, 54.5 is one of the smallest cube sizes, and granted, it's completely fine. Um, but I wouldn't expect to get any like what 
sub a minute awaits oh, times. I actually don't know how fast I am at awaits, oh, so I really don't know. But, anyways, this has been a 15 minute, supposed to be quick review. I have time somewhere being like, hey, go here for this, because I talk for a lot. They'll probably be like at the top of the screen the whole time. Yep, that's about it. Um, that's my cube. Don't have anything else to say on that. And yeah, my name is OneDavid29, and I think I am done. I know there's going to be else. Ooh, giveaway. My giveaway. I just want to give a quick update on that. 21st. It's Saturday of that first week, so. So it will be over on Thursday the 21st. Um, and the main thing I wanted to say about this is, basically, just kind of like a reminder, um, anybody who is um, competing, remember, okay? Okay, remember, the, um, what's it called? Subscribe to my channel in order to win. I have seen at least one person, I or like, the first day I came out, I need to check if any more people have submitted. But one person put all five comments, but isn't sub to my channel. So there's a little quick update on that. Um, make sure you sub to my channel so you can win. That's a, that's a requirement. It's a subscriber comp giveaway for a reason. So that's right. Peace.